Welcome everyone and welcome back to Drone News Now here at Drone U HQ. We're back from about three weeks straight of training. I did film a new show last week, but it's already irrelevant. In fact, it's funny how you get news topics out and things just change so fast. Well, the summer is here, taking flight is here, and so are a lot of new updates. Let's get into today's topics. Topic number one, did DJI just ban themselves? If you go to DJI or store.dji.com, you'll find that almost every drone that DJI offers is out of stock and unavailable to the US market. Makes you wonder, why is that so? Drones are still available through various carriers, people like uh, Adorama, Drone Nerds, uh, Gresco. A lot of people, dealers still have drones. Even I think uh, DJI stores in Arizona have them as well. It does, make, it does make you wonder how this might further impact a potential drone ban on China from the executive orders or Rick Scott's new bill, which would be a DJI or all Chinese drone ban and all Chinese parts for drones banned. That would take effect January 1st of 2028 for all Chinese drones and January 1st, 2031 for all Chinese parts. In our next piece of news, Parrot has launched a new drone called the Anafi UKR. And unlike its bug-like predecessors, the Anafi UKR offers a sleek design, clearly evolved from the Anafi AI offering a tri-camera payload. Now, previously, Anafis have been uh, integrated with Pix4D mapping capabilities. It'll be interesting to see what this NDAA-compliant drone will actually do as it was just launched in Paris this week, built typically for public safety and inspections, but it could be another great affordable option as the Anafi AI, if most of you remember, was only $5,000, now cheaper than the Matrice 4 Enterprise. DJI has unveiled a whole new drone delivery drone. The Flycart 100 has an 80 kilogram payload. Now here in the United States, until the two new certificates come out under part 108, you would need a waiver to fly this heavy lift drone as it is way beyond the 55 pound limit. That being said, I think DJI is preparing for beyond visual light of sight delivery operations as they now have multiple fly cart drones for delivery. It's gonna be interesting to see how this plays out because they are far, they are very far and ahead of many other manufacturers when it comes to drone delivery. In our next piece of news, it seems like Wingtra is coming out with a new VTOL drone on July 10th. They are set to reveal a new drone with new payloads that should streamline surveying in one capacity or another. They already streamlined the ability for large scale georeference maps and models. So it'll be interesting to see what new developments they have here. So in our next piece of news relevant to drone leaks and rumors, there's a couple rumors going out around Skydio. In fact, uh, one, prominent, um, one prominent industry leader on LinkedIn mentioned that Skydio could be coming out with a confined space drone built off of the X-10 platform, which would allow for a cheaper X-10 to be flown indoors with some sort of um, protection, ducted fans. We're not quite sure what is to be released at the Ascent um, conference. Hopefully we can be there uh, to report on it. But there's also news that there might be a Skydio VTOL in the works as well as Skydio expands its offerings at breakneck speed. So it'll be very interesting to see what comes about. Also, a community alert was dropped in the DroneU community today that I wanna give all of you. There were some comments on our last piece of drone news that after this DJI ban, you might want to not update the firmware on any of your DJI drones as there may be sabotage bugs installed within them. Well, according to two prominent drone new pilots out of Corpus Christi, Texas, it seems like the new Matrice 4 Enterprise remotes, which is also the Inspire 3, also the Mavic 4 Pro, these remotes are now whiting out. So instead of blacking out, they're whiting out. You get locked out of Pilot 2, and then you have some sort of error message completely in Mandarin come up on the screen, locking you out of the remote. Growing warnings are to not update your DJI gear amid speculation that sabotage might happen post-ban announcement. So here's your warning. 
there were comments on our video about the executive order with Trump and the DJI ban to, hey, you might want to be careful about updating your birds. And two new students are already coming out saying they're having significant problems with their firmware updates. Is it related? Who knows, honestly. Only time will tell if we see a pattern of these types of releases. But it's better to play it safe than sorry. If you've watched our Safe Drone Operations course, we make very specific points about when and where to update your firmware, providing real world examples that few other people have to give you real world information. This is the gap between theory and operational reality. Only can be found here at DroneU. My name is Paul. Thank you for joining me as always. Um, check out our new courses on mapping, modeling, construction media deliverables, and so much more. We'll see you next time at DroneU HQ. Just hit myself in the face.